Your presence is water to our soul. We breathe in Your presence here.
2015. May we do it with a heart that is filled with thanksgiving and joy for you, for what you've done, Lord God, in our lives. May we take the time to remember every time, Lord God, every instance, Lord God, that you came through for us, that you showed us just how good of a God you are, just how faithful of a God you have been to us. Lord God, we refuse to begin this year, Lord God, with disappointments and disillusionments, Lord God. We want to begin this new year, Lord God, with faith in our hearts, with hope in our hearts, knowing, God, that you have a plan for us, Lord God, a plan to prosper us, to give us a hope and to give us a future. Lord God, not just someday, Lord God, but this year. Lord God, may it be a year that is filled with your promises, Lord God. We take you up on your word, Lord God, that you are God who is good. We are God who doesn't hold back from those who call upon his name. So we thank you, God. This is a year, Lord God, that we give up to you, Lord God. We lift it up to you. We ask you, God, to make of it what you will. Lord God, we surrender it to you. We ask you to move. We ask you to be the one, Lord God, to break through in our lives this year. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. You are a good God. We trust in your goodness. We trust in your faithfulness trust in your word and your promises that hold us fast to you, Lord God. Jesus, we love you.
pray that you would awaken the church once again to realise its identity and who you have called her to be. You have called the church to be the salt and light of this world. You have called the church to not hide and be timid in her faith, but to shine brightly and to season this world with your truth. Father, we pray especially for any believers that may have fallen, fallen into slumber, those who may have fallen into apathy and complacency. Wake them up in this time and give them a passion to step into who you have called them to be. Father, we prophesy that as we are lifting up this prayer to you right now in this time, the church is beginning to once again recognise our identity, to bring light and truth into a world that is broken and lost. Your church is rising up in this great and mighty nation to take its place. Father, we pray that fresh fire and anointing be released upon the church, just like on the day of Pentecost in Acts, to empower believers that they may truly be bold and courageous in living out their faith and being the salt and light of this world. Let's pray.
bigger revival. But it, is, it is not by human might or power that it is able to be accomplished, but it is by the power of your Holy Spirit. Father, we declare on behalf of the Korean church here tonight that we believe you can do it. Help this nation to believe in what you can do. Father, we pray that the church would not be tied, that their faith would not be tied to their own humanly wisdom and insight. God, that they wouldn't depend upon their own plans and strategies, but God, that they would bring these things and surrender these things before you. And that in that place, that they would be filled with your vision and purposes for this nation. Father, direct them by your spirit to pray the key prayers that they need to be praying in this hour. God, to make the right decisions that are aligned with your will and to act in accordance with your plans. Lead them and guide them and give them your discernment. We prophesy that faith is arising in the Korean church. Faith that is not tied to things that are seen, but rather to the things that are unseen. You're restoring faith because the Korean church is confident of this, that you who began a good work in them will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Let's pray. that you are committed. 
committed to the church in Korea. God, not for even one second have you left her. Not for one second have you forsaken her. But just as you promised, you'll be with the church at the very end of the ages. And this is your promise. Your Holy Spirit will guide them and lead them in every decision that they make, God, in every prayer that they pray. God, it is your commitment to sanctify her, to renew her. So God, we lift every single prayer up to you tonight and we trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight for K1. Um, Happy New Year. It is the new year. Um, It's a year of great promise. I'd like to thank you for beginning this year in the presence of the Lord. Uh, as we are seeking God's plans for us this year, uh, I feel like God will reveal Himself to us and He'll make Himself known and seen by us. So thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight. Um, if you guys are on break and you guys don't need much sleep, we have another watch tomorrow morning. <laughs> so you can feel free to come to that. Um, otherwise, we'll just see you next week. Have an awesome night, guys.